Hello, welcome to a new video of Dynasty War. Today I'll talk about Awakening Gorja. I'll talk about the positive and negative of Awakening him. So the first thing is his main skill. If you're at level 50, level 10 skill, it's 1200. And if you max him out at level 60, it's about uh, 1500. But let's say if you just get him to level 60, but at, still at level 10 skill, it's 1300. So going from level 50 to level 60, you get about 150 uh, damage increase. But if you level the extra 5 skills up, you get about another 150. So in my opinion, the damage increase is not a lot. The, to the total is even less than 300 because you go from uh, 1200 to 1500. So I don't think the damage on his main skill is a really a big positive or a really big um, significant increase that you should be considering. However, the other part of Guajia's main skill is the ability to freeze buildings. However, Getting the extra 5 level from Awakening, that does not increase his freeze time. It is still 10 seconds. So really there is no advantage or there is no need to level that extra 5 level. You only get about 150 extra damage more. Which in my opinion is not worth the amount of resources that you have to put in to level up those 5 skills. So let's talk about the other attributes. HP going from level 50 is at 3200 and at level 60 you get up to 3900 so that's about 700 increase a little bit less than 700 and DPS goes from 465 to 537 so again that's about 70 damage increase so the 70 DPS increase is decent but that 700 increase in HP is not even enough it's not significant enough for you to actually awaken him. In my opinion, the extra damage and extra HP is not worth wasting the resources to awaken him. However, his awakening skill is very special. It adds a different playstyle for Guoja. His awakening skills allow him to randomly freeze 3 targets for 3 seconds when he dies. And that could be leveled up to for a maximum of 7 seconds. However, these uh, freezes um, does not do any damage. It only froze them for that amount of time. So this allows you to use Quoja on defense because usually people don't use him on defense because he has an active skill, so he doesn't really do anything on defense. But with this awakening skill, when he dies, he actually freezes three targets. And if he frees three enemy heroes, those three heroes will be standing still for at least three seconds, getting attacked by your other um, defensive buildings. And this skill actually works really well with the treasure that uh, gives uh, fan heroes the ability to spawn alchemists when they die. So when Guoja dies, it freezes three enemies as well as spawning some alchemists that can kill them. But this doesn't work as well on offense because you can't really choose what to freeze. And in offense, you have the enemy heroes and many different uh, defensive buildings. So that freezing three targets is not a lot. So the chances is even if you freeze them, you have more um, defensive buildings that can uh, attack you as well. So the alchemist that you spawn wouldn't do as much damage. Uh, it still work, it, you can still, you know, your alchemist can still finish the job for you. So Awakening Guanja really lets you use him on defense. And if you have the treasure that spawns alchemist when he dies, that is exceptionally well on defense. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.